uh, one year ago, you came here. Uh, illegally, without visa. I fly to so Mexico. So you're an illegal immigrant? I fly to Mexico. Wait, what? And then I cross border by my feet with my eight luggages in my hand you cr- and babe here. Wait. You I say, hello, I want to be America. And they ask me just one question. Do you like Putin? I say, I hate Putin. And they say, welcome to America. No, I promise to you. It's not a joke. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to insane russian girl confesses to committing a crime on camera like why 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 would you do that like why would a normal person do something like this do you want to go to jail or is jail calling your name let's just get right down to this by the way when did you come to the u.s one year ago one year ago so wait were you involved in like uh is there an industry in russia no I, i've been shooting in prague mm, in europe okay czech republic czech republic right and uh so uh, one year ago, you came here. Uh, illegally, without visa. I fly to Mexico. So you're an illegal immigrant? I fly to Mexico. Wait, what? And then I cross border by my feet with my eight luggages in my hand you cr- and babe you- here. Wait. You I say, hello, the I want to be America. And they ask me just one question. Do you like Putin? I say, I hate Putin. And they say, welcome to America. No, I promise to you, it's not a joke. Okay. Um, yeah, so. I asked for political asylum. It's easy. You can ask for political asylum only on the border. And you can't get in the plane without visa. So it's the only one way you fly to Mexico. Mm. There's like many thousands of Russians. We have a group chat. And that's how we do that. That doesn't mm. seem... So suspicious. the Russians are coming through the Mexican border? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have also group chat in Mexico. We have group chats. <laughs> yeah, because some people... Do you stuck- know a woman named Lauren Chen, by the <laughs> way? <laughs> Sorry? Do you know a woman named Lauren Chen by chance? No. Okay. I was just curious. You were going to say, go ahead. Okay. So, what the oh, question? You, I think you were saying something about there being a group chat or something. Yeah. I mean, like, there's many Russian who is doing like that now. Because the only one way to escape from Putin is, like, yeah. Hmm. I mean, people go a different direction. They go to Dubai, Israel, Bali, yeah. or LA. And so, how, how long? Pe- wait. Don't people leave Russia all the time? Uh, now mostly. Of course they leave yeah, Russia they all, the like all the time. But now all the middle class is left. Everybody with money and the one who don't really, you know, mm-hmm. all the middle class left. Yeah, but when you say, like, it's the only way I could escape Putin, people leave all the time from Russia without... Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Were you going to get conscripted? What is conscripted? Like sent, sent to the war? To the front lines of the war? Uh, I don't understand. W- were you going to get sent to war? To war? Yeah. yeah. I'm a woman. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was... Okay. <laughs> uh, you had that coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so, have you been in... You said you were in Prague? I've been shooting in Prague. Prague. Yeah. Where? And I mean, when it comes... You said you've been doing <laughs> for 13 years, though. Was that all over the place? Uh, worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, Do you want to name the country? Sure. Cairo, Bahrain, uh, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Paris, Tel Aviv, favorite, uh, Milano, Zurich, uh, Dubai, of course. Um, that's it. Never in North America and never in South America. So, I got a question. How are you flying all around to all these By plane. Yeah, yeah. No, hang uh, on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I assumed it was by plane. <laughs> I didn't think you flapped your arms. <laughs> um, so you're flying, you're flying around by plane to all these different, different countries, right? Why did you need political asylum in the United States? Why? Mm-hmm. Um, why do I need political asylum? Yeah, so I mean, if you were flying all over the world doing mm-hmm. these, like, corn shoots and making money, I assume, mm-hmm. doing, doing A lot, pornography, yeah. yeah. Why did you need political asylum? Okay, in the I United quit States? this one year and something months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I quit this courting. It was enough. I fly to Jerusalem. I went to the Wall of Cry. I spoke to the God, and I decided that this is a good time to quit sex for money. Yeah, I get that, right? I understand. And then yeah. I decided that it's also a great time to move to America. Yeah, right, but so why everything did you just need, worked together. Why did you need political asylum, though? 
What do you mean? What? Well, you said you were asking for asylum, right? Yeah, that's how I came to America. Yeah, asylum from what? From Russia. Yeah, f for what reason, though? Putin. Yeah, but w what was Putin doing to stop you from flying all around the world and doing pornography? Oh, not this. No, I was. Then I had why a problem. Why did you need asylum? <laughs> I don't get it. I had it. a problem with Russia, bro. I had a problem by living in Russia. Okay. That was. What because, and it's that's because you were doing that activity. Mm. So, like, if you went back no, to Russia, no, because of they my political be opposition. That's why. Your political oh, like being against Putin. Yep. Okay, so the, not because you were doing corn. No. No, they didn't care about that. I never did. No, I know, but if you went back to Russia. <laughs> They would care if you did do the right. Polit uh, like officially? Yeah. No. 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 Okay, so just purely because you don't like Putin. Because of what I'm saying online, yeah. Okay. Got about it. him. Okay. Just trying to figure it out. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And, Let's uh, go. We are here for this. Mm -hmm. You said you've been single for 3.5 years. What's the longest relationship you've ever been in? A year. One year. Okay. And you have a kid, correct? Yeah. Just one kid? Yeah. Okay. How old's the kid? She's 11. All right. Is she with you here? No, she just moved to live with her father in Thailand. Th Thailand? He lives in Thailand. Is he Thai? No, he's French Jew. Oh, okay. All right. Guys, guys, guys. You watch whatever podcast, you will want to laugh. But at the same time, shit's a fucking real. I swear. Okay, so let's just talk about this. So basically, I just like the fact that she was being honest. Um, you know, she's eager to answer your questions. It's not like she's afraid or anything. She just, you know, throw it as her, she's going to answer it. And I, I kind of like that vibe. But at the same time, like, I feel it's dumb to come on camera and say you came to a country illegally because it's obviously a crime. It's not allowed. You, you, you would say that on camera. So that was fucked up. But if she's proud of it, then I, I mean, if she, if it's something she wants to do, then it's on her, not me. But I'm just saying, it's kind of dumb to say that. Like literally, people are watching. Everyone is watching. And um, but she has a daughter, and I find that cute. Mm, I find that cute. But Andrew, Andrew, Andrew is just so. I mean, I watched a video before, and before this, I reacted to a video where. It was her and Andrew again, and like he's just so he's just so pushy, like he's so pushy, and I don't know, that's on him. But guys, you tell me what you think about this. What do you think about this? I don't think I don't know. I don't know much about Russia, and I don't know if pornography is a problem there. I don't know because like literally everywhere people do porn nowadays, and it's just crazy. But you tell me what you think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you.